Hey guys, what's up? It's Pseudo Pluto here, and we have an exciting video today. Um, it's eight months in the making. It all started on my um, XP Pen Deco 01 B2 video, uh, where I got a comment asking, how do you um, configure this tablet? And uh, this kind of led me down a rabbit hole because to use this tablet, I kind of used the uh, the the Lib Wacom drivers, uh, even though it's like not supported. Um, directly through this. Uh, there, there is some support for generic tablets, but as uh, he mentioned in this area, um, you can't really set the buttons on this tablet. And XL Wacom only works on X11, so you can't really use it with Wayland, at least to configure stuff. Um, so this video is kind of like a generic how to use and configure graphic tablets on Wayland uh, for Linux. And that's going to be the first half. And then for the second half, we'll get into the nitty gritty for uh, this tablet that I reviewed, um, the XP Pen Deco 01B2. Um, so so if you have this tablet, um, I would watch both parts. If you just want to use graphic tablets with, with Linux on Wayland, I would just watch the first half. Um, but yeah, let's get into it. So first off, uh, for this solution, we have to thank the gamers. Um, and specifically the gamers and the weebs that play osu because we are going to be using this and let me actually click it um it's called open tablet driver and it is a, a user space uh driver for graphics tablets that's uh shared across um linux and and windows and OS X. and basically this is very popular with osu players uh, that's a video game for like uh japanese songs and stuff but um, the, the OSU version uh, for Linux actually comes with this bundled. Um, but you can install it separately and use it as your replacement uh, user space graphics tablet driver. And this actually works in, in Linux, which is awesome. So I'm going to show you guys how to set it up. Um, I'm going to be doing this on Fedora and Wayland. Um, and we're settings. See, I'm using Fedora 35 and I'm using Wayland, the latest GNOME. And Right now, I'm moving my cursor on my graphics tablet, and it's, nothing's happening because I um, kind of removed it from uh, libwacom setup. So what we're going to do is basically, if you're on Windows, you can, uh, sorry, if you're on Ubuntu, you can probably just download this deb and then follow the instructions here. Actually, let's see, wiki installation guide so this should probably be fine for you but for dora and for general stuff um there is an rpm package it's just not with the latest version it's going to be queued with version 6 um of open tablet driver uh where's the downloads yeah so right now it's on version 5 which is like uh .NET 5 there's a .NET 6 version that's coming out soon that should have rpm packaging which should make it a lot easier. Um, let me know in the future uh, if you want me to try to like flat pack this or um, copper this for Fedora people. Um, I can probably give that a shot after I, I'm done with some traveling. But yeah, so um, I would just download this if you're not on Ubuntu or if you're on Arch, you can use the AUR. But for Fedora, I'm just gonna use this. And what I did is I actually just um, extracted it to my home directory. And now this is what you get. And this may seem a little bit confusing, but uh, don't worry about it. Oh, and, and one thing you should make sure you have is .NET. So um, I have .NET installed. And for Fedora, I just use this from the package manager. There should just be like a, a .NET runtime um, in the default Fedora. I actually installed the .NET SDK. Um, so that's like the only real, real dependency you need. Um, and then there's two things that you want to run, okay? Um, there's going to be the open tablet driver and then dot daemon. And this basically runs in the background and acts as a server. Um, and once you run this, you can actually use the tablet. So if you wanted to, to um, use the driver like on boot, on login, um, you could probably add this to your, like your login scripts or your startup scripts. Um, if you do this, it'll basically say, okay, I found the tablet that you have. And now if I move the stylus on my um, thing, see, I have another one pop up and that, right? 
But what do you do if we want to configure it? So there's actually um, a GUI in the same directory. It's called open tablet driver and then UX and then GTK. And what we'll have is a little um, GTK configuration thing. And this is actually an important part for the Deco um, 01v2. It doesn't actually detect the dimensions properly. Um, so if you want to use this for the Deco 01v2, I would just put this in. It's basically like half of what it expects it to be. Um, but here you can actually put in the, the bindings and stuff, right? So I bound one of my eight keys to letter A, right? So if I go into the terminal, right? I'm pressing A on my um, graphics tablet and see how that's working. And so right now we're running in Wayland and we have an actual um, graphics tablet support. And there's actually a lot of plugins if I can show you in the GUI. You have filters, tools, and interpolators. So if you do plugins and then plugin manager, you can actually install all these plugins um, from the internet. Um, some of them are for um, OSUS type stuff, but others are like for artists type stuff. Um, and you can also do artist mode. But just to show you that I'm actually using a graphics tablet in in Linux and Wayland, I'm gonna do, and then where is it? You can do, hello world. Yeah, so we have a working graphics tablet with configuration running in Wayland, which is pretty cool. And it's all thanks to the project that I set the start, this, this user space driver. And so that, that's that's the kind of tour of this open tablet driver part. So uh, so sometimes we'll get this failed to open device streams. And so what is actually having you do is it'll have you create review dev rules. And so you can just follow these instructions, but I actually have a copy of the generated um, new dev rules. So I'll put a link in the description and you can just w get that into the appropriate directory. Um, but that's the only other setup thing I had um, besides installing .NET. Um, and I think that's just because uh, I, I downloaded the, the the zipped binaries instead of the actual like DNF package, sorry, not DNF, the, the Debian package. But if you're, if you're also doing it from the tarball, um, you're going to need to download this and place it in the right directory and then run the, the UDEV updates. Um, but yeah, that's the end of the, the first half, which is the tour of the open tablet driver and uh, seeing it run in Wayland. So this part is for the people running um, the Deco 01v2. And so getting this to actually run uh, kind of pain in the butt there's one extra step that you need to do to get to run. And that is, um, where is it? So you need to go, uh, so the problem I had was that the buttons weren't working um, for the Deco, for the Deco tablet, right? I wasn't able to type out A, S, D, F, right? I wasn't able to use the buttons actually um, out of the box. And so after a lot of GitHub uh, issue searching, uh, there's a workaround. It should be fixed in master, so it'll come out in version six. But if you go into plugin manager, you can see that I have this ODT backport, and I have this installed. Okay, and once you have this installed, um, on boot up, you'll actually get a a log message saying like could not put configurations. So what you actually want to do is. You go into dot config, open tablet driver, uh, plugins, configurations, right? So you have configurations and you have all these um, tablet configurations that you got from installing the plugin. So what you actually want to do is you want to copy all of these configurations into where you installed it. Um, so if you install with the package manager, you want to do like a sudo cp and then into the directory um, where open whatever is installed. But since we did a local one, I can just do um, into home and then open. And then there should be a configurations directory already there in the install location. And um, you can see that I copied over everything basically. But that's, that's the only part you need to do. Um, you just need to do that, that cp-r star into um, that same path, right? Um, 
if you like run that command um, and you use the tarball method, you'll be fine. Otherwise, just change this directory to wherever um, your configurations is for um, Open Tablet Driver. And I think the plugin actually does it automatically for you if you have like the the Debian version. Okay. And the second part is I think I mentioned it before, but the dimensions are kind of whack out of the box. It's kind of um, um, like twice as large as it's supposed to be mapped. So what I did was I just half the, I just halved uh, the working space of the tablet. So basically these are the, the values that I want and um, I'll probably put this in the dis video description and the video notes actually. Um, I'll update that get repo. Um, and you just wanna use this, right? And this is where you can actually um, adjust the rotation, right? You can adjust the, you can make this upside down right do apply and save then suddenly my tablet is you no know, inverted um i think the guy who left the comment mentioned that he wanted to do like rotation um rotate yeah so um that's that's all i have for this video uh let me know if you have any questions um i, I know i kind of did a rough video but i just wanted to get this out there um didn't really know how to make a script for it. So just leave comments. People will answer it. I'll answer it. Um, and if it's if there's like too many questions, then I might make another like updated version that's a bit more concise and clear. But hopefully this is useful for you guys. And I hope you guys have a happy new year. See you guys.